Okay, welcome back to part two, my friends. Uh, looking quite nice so far, isn't it? I think this is quite nice. I'm excited to continue on with this. Let's continue on. Uh, let's put in all of these boats, have a bit of fun with these. So uh, up to now, we're looking quite well, I would say. It's not too bad at all, is it? I'm going to start putting in some of the boats over on this side. Um, we have another one or two. Look, we can make up our own as we go and just add our own boats into this if we like as well. We don't have to copy this photograph exactly, as I keep saying. It's our photograph, we can do what we like. Isn't that right? Or it's our painting, we can do what we like. Um, I'm going to just start putting in a suggestion of a couple of boats. Let's just imagine a couple of little boats. Now, this is probably not the best brush for this, um, but I can just start getting some shapes in. If you understand what I mean. Uh, another one here, let's say, like that. And you know what? I'll switch to a smaller brush, should I? Shouldn't I just switch? Let's find a small brush, small brown little brush. Um, well, this is always the problem. I'm always trying to find certain brushes and they haven't been cleaned or this or that. And you know, I'm just sometimes I'm just I can be so lazy sometimes. I suppose we all can, can't we? Uh, when you're busy, you haven't got time to clean brushes or whatever, you just leave the studio with the intention of coming back and you just move on to something else and you forget. I'm just going to start putting in suggestion of a few boats off here in the distance. And just keep reloading your brush, nice dark color. You could use a burnt umber or cyanide or something like that, a little bit of black here and there. Couple of little dots to suggest bits and pieces on the boat. Um, okay, let's just put another little bit here like that. The like a lot of these are going to be hidden with the boat in front. So look, there's no panic with this as such. You don't have to try. Don't panic. It'll be fine. It's just a suggestion of some silhouettes of boats off in the distance that's all i'm really thinking about as i paint silhouettes a bit of black up there a bit of black down this side here just pop a little black in here and there won't do any harm you know just to add a little bit of something to it um now, it's, the reflections are quite strange on these because you have reflections coming down, but you also have a bit of a shadow being cast on the water, if that makes sense. It's a very kind of a strange one, isn't it? You would assume that it's just reflections, but there are shadows in there as well, which I, I haven't really kind of seen before, to be quite honest, um, but they're there. So I'm just going to take, look, I'm going to try a little bit of black and a bit of magenta. I'm going to go with this kind of pinky black colour and I'm just going to attempt to put a little bit of a shadow, a reflection, a little bit of a reflection in here and there, just a tiny bit. I want to soften it into the boat as well so it becomes almost one. I'm going to follow the shape as it comes out. I'll just pop it in like that. It's just very, very loose suggestions of shadows um, and reflections and all of that. Um, I put a little suggestion of the mast as well. A little bit in just there. And a little bit in on this one as well. And we don't have a mask on that one up there, so I'm just going to pop one in using a little dark colour. So directly over this, let's just pop a little bit of a mask in. Like that, okay? And the palette knife is great for this because it just gives you a very sort of uneven line. It doesn't have to be a perfect line as such. So my next job is what I'm going to do is take a soft brush. I'm going to get a soft, soft brush. 
and I'm just going to very gently soften out the reflections very gently into the surrounding paint. Now this paint is not completely dry, it's still a little wet, so I'm just going to soften them ever so gently out. Now, already we have two nice little boats. We will have some highlights on these as well, but for now I think we're okay. We don't need to put lots of highlights on these. Um, I'll carry on and put in another one or two boats. Let's put in a couple. I know it's going to get another brush. Something slightly bigger than this just helps us go a little bit quicker. Nice little flat brush here, look. Let's take some black and some magenta. A little touch of burnt cyanide as well. Let's go have a nice dark colour here. Okay, I go up to this side. I'm going to put one in over here. Um, the ones over here really are almost... Looking at them on the photograph, they look like just squares. With, because you're looking at them sort of head-on straight. But there should be a little bit of a thing down at the bottom of it here. And uh, Let's put a little suggestion of a cabin or something like that up there and i'm going to put another one next to it i'm going to turn this one the other way just for a bit of interest it doesn't have to look exactly the same i'm just going to put this one like that little cabin up on top of that and again i'll refine all of these with the small brush later on I'm going to put a tiny suggestion of the reflection of that in there. And I put a little bit of a one in here of this. And remember, all of these will be softened in. So you're not going to really see these too much. Okay. I'm going to get a nice soft brush. Um, I have one here. Lovely little soft makeup brush. And I'm just going to very gently attempt to soften those out yeah so what i'll do next is perhaps go back to my slightly smaller brush that i had i can find it here somewhere i'm terrible for displacing brushes you know that i put brushes down and they just disappear for some reason it is quite annoying to say the least ah i have it it's in under my easel let me just grab this brush here okay i'm going to start putting in a couple of darks here and there so i use burnt umber just to keep it nice and warm okay little touch of burnt umber here and there on some of the boats if anything else it just adds a bit of warmth into the boats then maybe a little black on some parts of the boat so look just a little touch of black here and there bring it down you can just bring it back down into reflection if you like and put a suggestion of that big man we have a big mast on that don't we so let's put a little suggestion of that big mast coming down like so and we could put a small one on this perhaps just a small little mask like that and we can add a little mask to that one just with our palette knife okay just like that it's quite simple just remember try and have a bit of fun with this <clears throat> okay and let me get this photograph back up here um let's start adding some warmth into all of this because at the moment they just look dark don't they we need a bit of warmth don't we i think that should really help i'm going to take some cyanide and some magenta and then perhaps a little cadmium yellow and i'm going to get a nice warm color nice bright color there how's that doesn't that look much more eye-catching this is the first stage we will go a bit brighter than this um, but where the sun is catching them, I just want to add a little bit of that warm colour just here and there. I 
I find it a good idea to do this. It just, you see what I mean? It just adds a touch. I don't know if you can see that, but it really does add a hint of warmth. And I'm going to get my pointy brush finally. And I'm going to just get some of that cadmium yellow and a touch of the cyanide. Cadmium yellow and a touch of cyanide. And maybe a touch of white. And I'm going to just put a nice bright highlight here and there on some of them look. Beautiful bright highlight. Just here and there. I'm just being careful not to muddy the colours too much. Little touches, little dots of colour here and there. And you see now how that just sort of, it really puts a bit of life into the painting, doesn't it? There's one other little technique that I want to try on these. Um, I'm going to get another brush now. Uh, I go for this small flat brush. Any small flat brush that you have will do absolutely fine for this. But it has to be kind of opened out. Do you understand what I mean? So opened out like that. You see that? It's very opened out, very soft. I'm going to put a bit of mist in around these. This is where it gets interesting. I'm taking a bit of white. A little touch of magenta. And a little touch of... Um, let's call cadmium yellow. I'm going to get this nice bright colour. And I'm going to put a nice little mist in around some of these. So for example, see that little mist? And you see the mist is kind of, I suppose, covering up a lot of the reflections. But it's fine. I just want to kind of give it that misty feeling. That's all I want to do. So I'm just going across very gently over the reflection sort of just under the boat, if you know what I mean. It's just getting a bit muddy now, so I'm just going to get some fresh colour. Some pink, some cadmium yellow, a little Naples yellow as well, perhaps, just to give it that more of a pasty feel. And I also have a decent amount of magenta in here as well. Um, just to neutralise it, just to stop it going green. So that nice little soft colour look. Let's put that in here. And let's just go around the little circles. You could even dab it as well. I just want to create that nice mist in the painting. It's a beautiful, soft kind of a mist. Little tiny circles, look. Soften it away. Now I'll take my soft brush and just very gently try and soften that out. Very, very gently. Come across that. It's just very, ever so gently softening it away. Now, you can see we have a nice little bit of a mist around some of those, don't we? But I'm just going to soften a bit more up into the boats. Dab, 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 very gently. The effect I'm after is that it just sort of disappears into the boat. And the boat disappears into the mist, if you understand. So there's no clean line at the end of the boat. It's just nice and soft. Soften them out. With this one here, let's just soften it away. Look, dab, 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 very gently. And then soften very gently with the brush. Just a tip of the brush. And you can see it's just a nice soft effect, isn't it? Let's go and do some darker boats. We have some nice big ones, don't we? I'm going to come down closer. I'm going to put a nice big one um, in silhouette here as well. I'm going to start with some cadmium yellow, some burnt cyanide, and a little magenta. 
I'm going to come over here and I see a nice one here. I'm just going to go like this and then back at a slight angle and then cross and down. Burnt hyena, some magenta in there, little burnt umber perhaps. Let's go up some burnt umber as well and then a nice little piece on the back. This comes up at an angle, doesn't it? And it come, kind of goes down like that. Then I'll take my small pointy brush and I'll take some burnt umber and a little black because it's quite dark, isn't it? Because they're in silhouette, they're really dark, they're almost a black. So I'll just refine this then like that. So I'm leaving little bits of the burnt cyana colour, I'm just leaving little touches of that around the front of it, that will help give us that warm shade. And you can see there's a lovely little arch on this, like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? And after that, then it's really, it's just basically suggesting little bits of detail. So for example, we have the rails. Let's just pop an impression of a rail in here. A couple of uprights. Okay. And we have a nice strong sail coming up on this. With a little piece coming off of it like that. And then I'll take my palette knife and finish the sail with the palette knife. And I'll just go. Like that. Okay. Then we have a little piece coming off of the side, a little wire, let's call it. It is a little bit of a wire, isn't it? Coming off, going over. Like that. Um, that will do. So all of these little things really help and just suggestions of detail, tiny suggestions. It's just to show that there's something there, there's little things there, there's stuff going on. A bit of black in here. It's only just a suggestion, you see. I'm not, I'm not focused on trying to paint lots and lots of detail. I'm just putting little marks in with my brush, just to, you know, suggest that there's bits and pieces going on. Now the next step I'm going to do is take a nice dark shade of a yellow, a bit of magenta in there. And I just want to use this to create a reflection of this one. So it's basically, it's like a darker shade of yellow, isn't it? The reflection on this. I'm just going to pull it down gently like this first, right? And then just give a little suggestion of that sail, a piece coming out like that. Then I move to my small brush. And I just take some of that darker color. And just finish off some of those little reflections with this. So that's sort of the beginning of the reflection, but then it gets darker, doesn't it? And 
For the darker side, I'm just going to take some burnt umber, maybe with a touch of black even. And for the darker side, I'm just going to go and suggest that darker one coming up like that. So it's kind of darker just at the back, isn't it? Fill that in. I'm just going to leave it disappear as it comes across. All right. I'm just going to leave it fade off as it comes across. And we also have a hint of a kind of a purpley mauve coming off of the shadow as well. Now these are all, they may seem like tricky little pieces to do. Um, you don't have to go this far. But if you could try and simplify it even, a bit more pink in that now, a little bit nice, nice pinky colour. Um, if you could try and simplify it, it will make all the difference. You see what I mean? Okay. I'm going to darken again just over this area here. And that then is almost giving the impression of the shadow being cast, but also a reflection coming down. Does that make sense? I can see it on the photograph, it's there. Um, but I'm just trying to simplify it as best I can, really. I don't want to go over the, over the board, overboard with detail on this. I really don't. I'll take a little bit of darker colour. There's a darker colour into that. And finally, I'm going to hit this with some very big highlights. Very big, bold highlights. Take some yellow. Tiny, tiny highlights just here and there. Okay? Two small ones. I'm moving down. Moving down onto this big boat here that we have. I'm going to get a bigger brush. Go back to my bigger flat brush that I used for the blending. Now we have a bit of uh, smokiness in that as well, don't we? So I forgot about the smokiness. Let's try a bit of smokiness for that one. Mix up a nice warm pink hair. And let's just go up into this with some nice swirls of our brush. Now, if you want to leave that dry before doing this, you can. Um, it is quite tricky to do when it's wet. So you can leave it dry if you like. It would be much easier if it is dry, but even that, no, that's not too bad. I'm going to soften it all away. You can see we still have a little bit of a reflection left. Nice little bit of mist just there. Let's go down to this big boat, the big one here. I, just want to, I don't want to overdo it with boats, but I want to make an impact just with one big boat close up. So let's do this one. A little bit of black, a little bit of magenta. It's very dark, isn't it? Burnt umber, magenta, um, touch of blue, perhaps. Let's just start nice and dark with this. So let's go over here and let's say we have a piece that comes across like that. Then it goes across like that. And it comes down and up like this. I'm going to fill this in. And it comes. The thing with this one is the the actual boat merges into the reflection, doesn't it? Quite a bit. It's all just one sort of colour, isn't it? That's what I mean to say. It's 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 all one kind of colour, isn't it? So I'm just gonna go like this first for now. Then I'm going to go into this lovely burnt sienna colour that we have. 
and I'm going to just do the reflection with this color. We get some burnt sienna with cadmium yellow, nice warm color. And it just sort of almost disappears. It's very sort of uh, soft and misty, isn't it? Go just sort of soften it in, then it gets really dark. I'm going to go for a black with some magenta and try and get this in just like that. You see that shape we have here of the reflection, it really is very dark, isn't it? Well, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there slowly. Okay, it takes a bit of time, but not to worry. We'll go back to our pointy brush, get some of that dark color, and we'll go up here like that. Soften some dark color into that. And over to this side, we have a little bit of a rail. Comes along like that, doesn't it? Then we have the cabin, which sort of has a hook on it, doesn't it? This kind of, I don't know what they're called, but it has one of them things on it, doesn't it? Like that. And there's just a lot of dark stuff going on, isn't there? There's lots of bits and pieces in there. And it's all in silhouette, isn't it? And we also have, let's just add little touches of detail here and there. On the top of the boat, there's bits and bobs, I like to call it, bits and pieces. It's just to suggest a little bit of detail. That's all it is. It's, just a, it's a suggestion. Just remember that it's always just a suggestion. Um, little bits of wires and all that kind of thing coming along. Bits and pieces sticking up here and there. And we have a little bit of a rope coming out of the scene, just there. And I know that looks a little bit, probably a little bit strange, but look, we will get it looking rather nice. Let's just be patient and see what happens. Um, I'm going to put the mast in. And the mast just comes down like that, doesn't it? And it softens away into reflection again. And let's put a hint of reflections on some of these ones here. Okay, like that, and um, we have a little bit of a piece coming down off of the mast. Just simply look at what you're, what you're painting. That's all I would say. Just look at what you're painting and it will be okay. Just try to copy roughly what you're painting. Um, I know it can be quite difficult. So like that, for example, fill it in. Could add a bit of 
black into this one it's getting quite dark over on this side isn't it so we'll add a little bit of black into the mix like so okay then we have the rope again coming down and meeting over there put a touch of black across there I'm going to take a little touch of um, a warm kind of a yellowy color I need to get more cadmium yellow because I'm running out now very fast of cadmium yellow just there like that and we also have a lot of little strings and stuff like that as well coming off this um, this boat lots of strings these will be put in very soon as well Okay, I'm just going to clean this brush, this little medium flat brush, take some black, and I just want to really add some black onto this to really silhouette this boat. It needs to be really black, doesn't it? Just popping a little bit of more black onto the boat. And it even merges down into the reflection as well. So it just becomes one. It all becomes one. okay let's do our mast for this one nice big big mast let's take some burnt umber and we get a bit of burnt cyanide as well you can just go black if you like but i'm just going to try this color for now it will look quite, quite dark when it's when it's once it's on the canvas okay let's just get a nice ring of this and we have the mast here don't we so let's go up follow that up and put the mast in right up all the way and you see the way it hits and misses don't worry about that it's okay if it hits and misses the canvas it doesn't have to be a perfectly solid line in fact sometimes it looks better when it's like this I'll go a little bit higher. Just a touch. And we have another one coming off down to this side, don't we? Let's just go like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is, it doesn't have to look like a photograph. It really doesn't. I put a couple of strings going up there. I put another one coming down here. And another one or two coming off of it like that and you see the way the lines just sort of hit and miss that's absolutely fine that's really fine that's all you need and i'm going to soften the reflection slightly i'm going to rub my brush right across it left and right just a little to soften out the reflection a little bit and then I'm going to start adding highlights. I need to get some cadmium yellow. I think this is looking quite nice, isn't it? And you could do this just with a few colours, a handful of colours. That's all you need, my friends. Just a couple of colours. Four or five colours, really. And you can do this. And listen, have faith, okay? trust yourself because if you tell yourself you can't do it then you've already almost quit okay if you tell yourself that you're not going to be able to do it you've all that's half of your perseverance gone already tell yourself i can do it and just try just try your hand and see how it goes and look, if you make a little mistake, it's only a mistake. That's all. 
It's only a small mistake. We all make mistakes. I make mistakes every single day in paintings. But you know what? That's how we learn, isn't it? Isn't that how we learn? You see? Now we have a little bit of a dark piece as well here, don't we? Coming down and out. Pop that in with the knife. Okay, just like that. We also have a beautiful little wire coming off of it with a boy hanging, don't we? And all of these little lines make the painting very, very interesting, I think. So I'm going to go um, down like this and just out of the painting. Then we put in a little boy down here. You can put a dab of cyanide on that just to keep it nice and warm. And a little reflection coming off of it like that. Just give it a little bit of a pull down and that's the reflection done. We have the reflection of the line itself, small reflection. Um, that's probably the trickiest part to get right. So let me just see now. Oh, like that. Cross and out. There we go. How is that, my friends? Now there's also a reflection over here that we missed. Just one small, small, small reflection that we missed. This line here. All right, should have one coming up here too, doesn't it? Shouldn't it? Like that, and a piece here. You know, it's just these small things, small little things, but they make a difference, don't they? Um, let's put one coming off of this, coming down here. Another one for this reflection here for that mast coming down. Okay, now we could put one over here. That mass coming down as well. Another one here. That's why we have all these little lines in the front here showing the masts. And then finally, let's take a bit of bright colour, pop a little highlight on this. So I think, look, my friends, I don't want to overcomplicate this. I think that looks quite nice. And I'm pretty happy with the result. I'd be eager to find out what you think, um, how it all turned out. But yes, I am pretty, pretty happy with this. I think all this needs is maybe one or two birds popping across the sky. How, how, how about that? Let's just put one or two. Like that. Playing across the sky. And I am actually, I'm kind of looking around now and I'm seeing just one or two small areas that I might like to work on a little bit more here. I think I'll just get rid of that, my friends, because I don't know if that's working. Um, I just don't know, really. Sometimes it could work, sometimes it might not. It's it's worth, it's worth to try anyway, isn't it? So look, if we don't try something, we're never going to know. So it's worth to try, just to see if we can make it look a bit better. Okay. And I think I will maybe just pop a little bit of yellow across here and there, just to break up this area as well. Tiny bit of yellow with a dry brush. Just pop it through some of the sails. And 
I'll finish off this one here. Break that through. And I think that's better. Well, my friends, I am done. I am calling this finished. Um, I'm not going to overdo it. But I do hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've made it understandable, I suppose. Um, if you find it a little bit too difficult, <clears throat> then perhaps you might have even learned something from it. You know, um, how to just simplify a scene as best you can, not to overdo it too much. But I do hope I have helped you um, in your endeavours going forward. So anyway, thank you so, so much, my friends, for joining me. Let me just turn the camera here. And um, I'll make a nice frame for that. And I think that will look quite nice. Quite nice. So I'm nice. I'm very happy with that. It has a nice soft feeling to it, I think. A nice calming feeling. And that's what I wanted to achieve. And that's what I got. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, until next time, take care. Um, have fun. And just try it. I keep saying it. Just don't be afraid to just try. You can only... It's only paint. Okay, if you make a mistake, paint back over it again. I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, so until next time, take care and God bless and happy painting.